Hey, you get off my mic. These microphones are very hard to get. Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Just preparing a nice coffee in the morning. Otherwise, I can't get this man to open his eyes. <laughs> Just about, hey? <laughs> this is our room. A small little room. Three blankets to sleep. And then this one here as well. So it was a little bit on the colder side. It was cold. Yes, and it wasn't too comfortable. But today we are going back down. <laughs> Today we are going back down, exactly. And then we're going back up again. <laughs> so we're going down and up. We, <sighs> today we're doing a little detour. But anyway, we will tell you this after the coffee. Getting into the wettest shoes on the planet. They're so wet. It's like a swimming pool inside. <laughs> mm. It's not a cool experience. Well, we're going to be hot in about two hours. So <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> This camera's in the bush. Oh. <laughs> Hoo -ya. Hoo -ya. Hoo -ya. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. ciao. <laughs> gracias. Okay, yep, I think according to the map. Did I get it right? No. Completely the opposite. It's always like, shall I go left or shall I go right? And then the map just spins around and it's like, why did you go that way? That wasn't the right way at all. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 340 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We're here in the town of Ambato in, I was about to say Peru, <laughs> in Ecuador. Yes, <laughs> and I wanted to say Colombia. <laughs> oh my lord, where are we, eh? Where, where are, are we? we? It's looking slightly less bad weather today than it was yesterday, which I'm super happy about. And we've got a super exciting place to visit today because we're heading to a place called Paseo de los Monos, which is like, I think it translates to like monkey ride. So Paseo de los Monos is a wildlife sanctuary that was opened in 2007. And their mission is to basically rescue animals that have been badly treated in zoos or part of the wildlife trade. And uh, they also have other missions, conservation missions, like buying and protecting rainforest, pretty much trying to give the wildlife of Ecuador a better life and a fighting chance, basically. So let me show you guys the route for today. So we are here high up in the mountains and today our mission is to head over to Puyo on the edge of the Amazon rainforest and where we will see some cutie monkeys before heading back the same way to Ambato and continuing our way north to hopefully finish the day in Sacuisil. Yes, we are super excited to visit this place because apparently they have more than 200 animals there. So it's just 64 miles actually from here, but our navigation says it will take us two hours and 30 minutes. So better hit the road, let's go. I just can't get over how beautiful the weather is at the moment. Sunshine just for us. Oh, this is beautiful. It gives us a chance to dry out our gloves. I, I don't think our boots are going to dry out. I think we would need to go back to the Atacama to dry out our <laughs> boots. <laughs> to the driest place on earth. Exactly. That's probably the only way my socks are going to get dry. Yeah, but hopefully my trousers will dry out a little bit because they are wet as well. Yeah, Ecuador has blessed us with a little bit of sunshine as a way to say sorry for the entire day of riding in the rain yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> but we were really clever this time and we put our new media mod away for the whole day which i'm sorry we weren't able to talk so much maybe you enjoyed it more i don't know <laughs> <laughs> but it means that we tested it this morning and i think everything is uh everything's good yeah i think we didn't break it yesterday which is good yeah it's always a bonus when we don't have to replace a broken piece of equipment 
I almost forgot to mention actually that the place where we're heading today, Puyo, is also basically right on the edge of the Amazon rainforest. So that's so cool that on this trip we're going to be able to basically get to the edge because when you see on the map you see the Puyo, basically after Puyo when you head further inland there's no more roads, that's it. If you want to go further inland you have to like take a plane or a boat because that is literally the start of the Amazon basin. Super cool. Wow amazing. We didn't get to see Chimborazo volcano yesterday but this is not Chimborazo, but it's an awesome volcano, nevertheless. Yeah, wow, I'm so impressed with this area here in general. Ecuador seems like a really, really beautiful country. Mountains, volcanoes, forests, incredible. Yeah, when it's not raining, I love it. <laughs> yes, it's not raining, it's 20 degrees, sunshine. Ah, oh, nice. Wow, what an area, hey? Stunning. Crazy road! Whee! Nice! Wow, what a stunning area! nearing the bottom of the valley now we've descended quite a lot and we are back in the jungle baby so we've got another 20 miles to reach the town of Puyo well we're probably going to grab a bite to eat before we head to the monkey sanctuary but wow yeah it's uh, getting hotter and more humid by the second we are really <laughs> getting down back into the rainforest now temperature is 23 degrees and I'm still wearing my fleece and my like raincoat. It's time to get naked soon. Yeah I think it's gonna be hot by the time we get to Puyo. So I'm just waiting outside the supermarket where Lavi's gone in to do some shopping and this lovely lady behind us has just come and given us some ice creams. <laughs> wow. It's a Bogatti. Okay. That's very kind. Thank you. Majo. Wow, much gusto, Marco. Crema de queso. Leche. Uh, a sabor? Manjar. 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 Uh, como el... Um... Yo te tengo, pruébale. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, I try, I try. Wow. Mm. This marca vas a encontrar en Colombia, en Bogotá. Ecuadoriana marca, but in Bogotá. Hola. 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 <laughs> she has an ice cream for you. Really? Yes. From this place, oh, from this place, oh, I like it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So we were going to eat our lunch just here in front of the supermarket, but some traffic people just told us that we can't park there because it's cars only apparently. So we're going to head over to um, the entrance to the monkey sanctuary to Paseo de los Monos and um, we'll have our lunch there before we head in. It was so nice that Maho came over from that Bogati ice cream store and gave us some free ice cream. Yeah, I can't believe it. I enjoyed the ice cream with some cheese on top. 
<laughs> the first time we've had that. Absolutely crazy. So kind. Thank you so much. Yeah, people are really welcoming here. Like we had many people coming up to us, asking us about the motorbike and wishing us good luck. It's so yeah, really, really friendly. Yeah, at the moment I'm absolutely loving Ecuador. Centro de Riscante Los Monos. It doesn't show it here for me, but it must be. Must be, hey? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah, 300 meters. <laughs> the little monkey sign. And there's a house for sale here. Do you want to live next to the monkeys? Oh, yes! Yeah, that would actually be very lovely. <laughs> Where are the monkeys? Where are the monkeys? <laughs> Wow, crazy, all these little places are for sale here. Wow. So cool places. Are we right here? Oh, look, there's a monkey sign here. Awesome, we are here, we have arrived, and it's time to see some monkeys. So there was a guy who came up to us before, and he said it was $7 entry, but I don't know where he is now. So I think we'll just go on a loop, have a look around the place, and uh, when we see him, we'll give him $7. <laughs> So unfortunately, I couldn't actually find anyone to tell us uh, something about this place, but we have their website. So let me tell you guys a couple of things about Paseo de los Monos. So Los Monos is an Ecuadorian Swiss non-profit created in 2005 by Ivan Bouvier and Veronique Grand. Their mission is to protect wildlife and the indigenous traditions of the Ecuadorian Amazon rainforest. So this wildlife shelter was opened in 2007 to provide refuge for the wildlife of the province of Pastaza and they harbour more than 200 animals that have been orphaned or badly injured due to illegal trafficking. They give shelter to specimens of primates and reptiles and parrots, tortoises, coates, so a lot of Ecuadorian wildlife. And that's about it. <laughs> Great job. Oh, so beautiful and green here. Oh, Serpentario is like the serpent house. Oh my God, this one's like open straight. The, fir the first tank we get to is open. <gasps> I, I sincerely hope that there wasn't one in there. Oh wow, look. Holy crap. Be careful. Oh. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. I guess we'll carry on our tour, shall we? Is he eating my hat? He's eating your hat, yes. Is he? I just hope that he's not getting your hat. Stop eating my hat. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't poop on me, Mr. Monkey. Hey, you got some nice ants to eat? Mm. And he's making poo at the same time as he. Oh, he just made a stinker on the ground. <laughs> I'm so glad he didn't do that on me. Look, Oli, Oli. This is like a little leopard or something. Oh, wow, yes. Let's go have a look. Whoa. It's an ocelot. Wow, crazy. <gasps> wow. 
beautiful animal, hey? And I do love cats. So here we've got some koatis. And here, do you know this one? Chorongos. Cholonga. Chorongos. Chorongos. Well done, so we'll just clean that as well. Yeah, here you have a lot of... Uh... So you're visiting Ecuador? Or... He's so naughty. Oh. <laughs> Look at me. It's the fucking mic, he loves it. Hey, you get off my mic. These microphones are very hard to get. You know. Oh, he's like got a boa constrictor grip on my neck though. Want to do a selfie together? Mike, oh my lord. <laughs> wow, although a lot of the monkeys are confined to cages because um, some species are more dangerous than others, it looks like the capuchins can go wherever they like because there's quite a few of them up there because we're getting rained on by half-eaten berries. There's one little guy over there. So the capuchins, they're the real winners here. They can do whatever they like. They have a sweet life. So we just met two volunteers uh, from France and they're volunteering here for a week. So we asked them a little bit about the place. And yeah, it's exactly what we thought. They're rehabilitating the animals here. And the idea is that these animals are rescued from various places. And here they learn to cohabit in sort of family groups and learn those behaviors. And the idea is that eventually they are gonna be return to the wild. They actually have three ocelots here and apparently two of them are already nearly ready to be uh, released into the wild. I think one of them they said was a bit too friendly to humans so I think that one needs a bit more time. It's just an incredible place here. It's directly on a river as well and it's just a really beautiful like a really nice jungle walk amazon jungle vibes right now wow look at this absolutely beautiful yeah this river feels really really wild this is about as close to the amazon rainforest as we are going to get basically from here on the other side of this river that's just rainforest there's no more roads. It just goes off into the Amazon. It's spectacular. Such an amazing diversity here. You've got flowers all over the place, tons of different species of trees. So actually Ecuador is one of the, I think, 17 most biodiverse countries in the world. There's like this list of like these mega biodiverse countries and Ecuador is on that list. Yeah, and you can really see how much effort the government is putting into the country. Like there was no rubbish on the side of the road. You see signs everywhere like protect the nature, don't chuck the rubbish on the ground or like uh, plant a tree. Like it's so crazy to see that the government tries so hard to push the people in this direction. So we don't know the whole story of course, but it seems like Ecuador is trying to protect their nature. I mean, I just uh, saw in the news actually that Ecuador is like the first country in the world to put a corridor protecting its entire coastline. So I think eight miles from the shore across the entire coastline of Ecuador is now a protected area. I think it's like 15,000 square kilometers in total. There's no commercial fishing, only local fishermen can be there. And it means that there's lots of beaches, turtle habitat, mangroves, and it's all protected now. So Ecuadorian government. We love you. Good job, guys. <laughs> yes. The strongest living being on earth. <laughs> you carry that flower petal. Lunchtime. I'm making us a nice veggie mite. Sandwiches for lunch. Uh oh, you're attracting some attention. 
Oh, I know, hey, somebody's hungry. That's the drawer of the Marmite. Everyone loves it, hey. <laughs> you are both so unbelievably cute, hey. Hey, are you both unbelievably cute? Beautiful, all right. Nice place. A little paradise, hey, a little monkey paradise. Absolutely. It's always beautiful to see people who are really into it and caring for animals. Oh, it's just wa warming my heart. Oh yeah, this way was a little bit dodgy coming up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, some rocks. Yeah, the Amazon is a really special place, eh? Yeah, it was super, super nice to see what wildlife exists in the Amazon. And it's just really nice to see that, that there are people who are caring for that wildlife, who are trying to rehabilitate it and save it from illegal trafficking and poor conditions. So yeah, that was really beautiful. It really looked like those monkeys were, yeah, were having a pretty good time, I reckon. Yeah, they were good looked after. And it's just really cool to have actually got down here and seen the beginning of the Amazon rainforest. It's really nice that we had a chance to be able to come down here. Yes. And during that little walk next to the river, that was like, we were in the Amazon there. That was absolutely amazing. So yeah, I really enjoyed that visit. Absolutely amazing. So now we'll be leaving the capuchins to their monkey business. <laughs> and we'll be heading back to Ambato, where we started the day this morning. And depending on the time, hopefully we'll be able to get a bit further. But yeah, we will see how we get on. And also, we've been super lucky so far to have not been rained on for the whole day. So, it'll also be interesting to see whether that continues. <laughs> fingers crossed, hey, fingers crossed. We yeah. have our raincoats on, our rain trousers on, just in case. We've come rainforest ready. <laughs> A few moments later. Oh. Oh. oh no, we're getting some <laughs> drops on us already. Oh. oh my, my, my. There we go, hey? There we go, the rainforest on cue. Yep, the rain is definitely, definitely coming down now. So it's time to take off the media mod. So that's the end of our talking. <laughs> So we just stopped here in Dulceria La Guayaba and I think this is all sugar cane stuff because look over here we've got massive sugar canes so we're gonna see if we can get a sugar cane juice Hola, tiene jugo, jugo de caña Si? Si, perfecto ¿Cuánto cuesta para dos? Un dólar. Un dólar, ok, gracias. Uh, ahí por ti. Oh, gracias. Ok. Es uh, okay. Ca caña. No, eso es guayaba, guava. Guayaba. Ah, guayaba. Ah, cool, gracias. Ahí sí. Gracias. Wow, look at this. He's boiling guava. Uh, es, es guava. Es guava. Ah. Ah, and this is the raw ingredient. Guava. Eh? Aquí? Eh, aquí. <laughs> Whoa. Ah, and this is how they make the sugar cane juice. So they basically just put the sugar cane through this big roller compressor and then the juice just comes out the bottom. So they just crush the sugar cane and the sugary goodness comes out. Oh yes. Wow. Cool. Ah, muchas gracias. Thank you. Awesome. There you go. Look at that. Wow. Muchas, muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Sweet, hey? Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Wow.
Wow, I could have this every day, all day long. This is possibly one of the sweetest drinks I've ever had. It's unbelievably sugary and beautiful. But guys, look at this shop. I mean, this is like a candy paradise here. Look how big they are. It's just insane. And then the inside is like completely colorful and nice. So we're just arriving in the town of Latakunga where we have an accommodation in mind for tonight. It's nearly, nearly sunset. It's six o'clock at the moment. The accommodation's less than a mile away. So fingers crossed they got a room for us because otherwise it's gonna be dark. <laughs> So they have a room for us, two people, $20. I didn't want to bargain because she was really cute and she was like $20. I said, okay, $20. $20? Sweetheart, you're supposed to get at least $5 off. <laughs> you're my bargain queen. No, when I convert it to pounds, then it's actually... Like 16 pounds or something. <laughs> Full of stuff. So we did at the end 158 miles and that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below and we will see you next time.